What's up guys, today we're gonna to be talking about how to grow your YouTube channel quickly by gaining more views and subscribers. Pretty much just some tips for growing your channel in general. To dive right in, I think the main thing that most other people ignore is the fact that on YouTube, unlike in 2007 or whatever, you can't just upload videos anymore and expect a lot of people to watch them. Like you might get lucky with a few videos, but that's not going to be a regular consistent way to actually gain views and subscribers. So what I think you really need to do now is build social media presence across everything, not just YouTube. You can't just grow your YouTube subscribers. You need Snapchat followers, you need Instagram followers and Twitter. And you really need to build individual unique audiences and provide them with unique content and get them to connect with each other and then connect back to your YouTube channel. A lot of people don't really see YouTube as a social media. It's more of just a place where I watch cat videos. But the fact that you can comment and interact with fans and have that social media experience also makes it important to, like you said, link it with your other social media networks, which isn't something that a lot of people talk about, but it's really important to having an engaged audience that grows. So on top of that, you might be getting viewers now, but what you need is subscribers. And if you want people to come back regularly and watch your content, they need to be subscribed to your channel. To get them to do that, you want to have a channel that looks nice. You want a nice layout for your channel. So people come and they see it and they say, hey, I'll click on this video now. And now I'm in a playlist and I'll watch this video and that one. That'll get people coming back subscribing to your channel. So what you need to do is on your channel page, set up playlists, make them look nice, have a nice channel trailer, have a nice icon for like your channel and your channel art. All of that needs to be professional, clean, crisp looking. You also need really nice looking, unique thumbnail so that when someone looks at the different suggested videos in the side or in the, at the end of the video, they see your thumbnail and know that it's yours. So you see this with like Matthew Santoro, GMM, they have the little icon in the bottom corner and that'll both help with making your channel look nicer and more professional and help with getting people to just continually click on your other videos. Basically your audience just needs a place to go. So once they get to your channel, you need to give them videos to watch and at the end of each video you need to give them more videos to watch because otherwise YouTube will just suggest videos for them and if they don't like those they'll just leave and that negatively impacts how your videos rank. So in addition to that, optimizing your videos to appear higher in search results is going to help you gain an organic following on YouTube through people just searching for videos instead of just telling your followers of other social media sites to follow you because that way you'll have growth from both the search results and from people that follow you on your other social media platforms and you telling them to come to your YouTube videos. So on the topic of ranking in search results, some best practices would include choosing a topic that's trending but also doesn't have a lot of competition. So finding a topic that people are like really searching for but there isn't really a lot of good videos about it. That's somewhere where you can interject yours and get it to rank really high and people would be like, oh, what's this? And click on it and hopefully that will lead them to your channel and other content that's of a similar quality. Next, you wanna make sure that your metadata, which if you don't know what I mean by that, I'm referring to tags, your description, your title, make sure all of those things contain the keywords that you want people to be searching for. Having those all contain a few similar keywords to what you want people to search for will help your video rank higher as well. And then on top of that, to get it to rank better, you want a high number of likes to dislike ratio and as many comments as you can get. So if you can get people to like your video with a call to action, say, hey, go like my video and then, and then leave a comment in the comments down below. Whenever someone leaves a comment, immediately reply to it and try to get a conversation going. Even your comments are going to co count as comments to the YouTube algorithm. So the higher number of comments you have and the higher number of likes you have, the higher your video is going to rank. So I'm pretty sure you can't just spam your own video with your own comments. I don't I think eventually that will catch on no, and it won't I'm sure, rank the I'm same I'm sure that way. wouldn't do well. Our next tip would be, and this is one of the more important ones for growing quickly, is collaboration. Now that one might be a little bit more obvious, but a lot of people, as far as collaboration goes, things that you have to be sitting on the couch next to each other to collaborate. And yes, we do collaborate in every single video, but collaboration can be around the world. You can collaborate with someone in another country and be in the same video as them without being in the same room as them. I think the most important thing when collaborating with someone, regardless of if you're close to them, like geographically, or if you're far away, is coming to them with an idea. If I'm gonna send you an email about collaborating, I mm -hmm. should have something that I'm bringing of value. Mm -hmm. And also, don't try and collaborate with people whose channels are like four times the size of yours, because it has to be a win-win. If you can't both benefit from growing, then that person will likely tell you they don't want to collaborate with you. Our last tip for this video may seem a little obvious, but posting regularly is something that not a lot of channels do in the grand scheme of things. And it's really important to keeping an engaged audience that 
will consistently stay and watch your videos. Mm -hmm. If people don't know when you're going to post, they're not going to be expecting anything. And they might, they're also not going to be looking forward to it. So like channels that I really like, knowing that they have a schedule, like, hey, we upload on Monday and Thursday. And like, hey, it's Monday, I'm really excited for this video to come out and I'm gonna visit their channel often to watch their new video as soon as it comes out. So building up that anticipation, telling people when you're going to upload and getting them into a routine is going to help you get more consistent views. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you want more tips like that, go to our website, sidekickcollab.com. The link will be on the screen and in the description below. We're having some tutorial courses that are coming your way soon. Our website also has a tool to help facilitate those collaborations, whether they be really close to you or long distance. And it's 100% free and super easy to sign up for. So yeah, I mean, there's really nothing to lose. It'll just help you find other channels to collaborate with, which will help you grow. But anyway, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below with any questions or suggestions that you might have for us. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. In addition, you can follow us on our various social media accounts and over at SidekickCollab.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.